Hello, welcome back to Speed Painting Stormbringer. Here are all the paints we'll use to complete issue 1 and paint up the Auric War Clans Killer Boss and Stabgrot. Let's get started. And here is the primed model black. And here it is after dry brushing. So for dry brushing today, we went with straight white rather than going grey then white like we did in the last one. So let's see how this turns out. Let's start with some Orc skin. It's going to do all the skin on the models. Yeah, there is a lot. So let's just crack on, get through all that. I do like this green, it's a nice vibrant green that I found. We may adjust to a different green for other arc models, but for this one, I like this green quite a lot. It came out really nice in the end. I did also try a couple of different brushes. Um, so you'll probably see my brush change a couple of times while I tried to find one that I liked. At the minute, I think I'm using my specific speed paint brush that I got with the speed paint set. So yeah, lots of green on this guy. Let's make sure we get them all. And then we have to do the same with the stab crop. Here is tiny little stab grot. He doesn't have as much green because he's well, he's obviously smaller. But I think he's wearing a little bit more armor as well. It covers more of his body. And obviously, this footage is sped up a little bit. Next up, we got hardened leather. Gonna use the hardened leather for all the leathery cloth parts on both models. I do apologize for some of the camera angles where you can't specifically see what I'm doing. I'm still trying to work it out the correct positioning for a lot of these. But you will hopefully see that improve as the videos go on on this channel. I did actually record this quite a while ago, it was before my last two videos came out. Um, I just not had the time to edit these and get them up, so I think we're almost done with the leather now. We're going to go on to polish silver. This will do all the armour and stuff. And weapons, I believe. You've got the helmet on the stab grot. And I believe his knife as well, yeah. Now on the killer boss we have all the plated armor, his helmet, and then the blade of his axe. I believe we're just adding a little bit more hardened leather just with the handle of the axe there. Keep that camera in focus. So we're going to slaughter red. I believe. I think I'm doing this for the shield. Yeah. So we're doing some slaughter red on the shield. Get a nice red colour. I think at some point in the future I might go over some of these models and add a bit more detail colour, like I could do the teeth and stuff on that shield a bit better. But for the purposes of today we're just going to stick with that one colour. I believe this is bony matter, just doing little straps on his clothes. And at the bottom of the shield there. And obviously any of the bandage bits around his legs as well. The thing I love about these speed paints is you can do things so quickly. I think this whole thing took me about 25 minutes to do. 
So the footage is sped up quite considerably here. I think it's five times speed. So that should be about 30 minutes this took to do. Both of these models. Then it's a magic blue. Just for little bits of detail here. Some sand golem. The little horns on top of the shield. No idea where I've gone just now. But I'm apparently doing something. There we go. There was a yellow there. I didn't quite catch what it was. I think I was trying to lighten up the teeth here, but like I said before, that didn't work. So we've got to go over some of the base now. We've got a storm cast that he's got his foot on. So just paint that with a nice goldish colour. Add a bit of gold on the orc himself. And here we are, both completed models. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, but enjoy these glamour shots and we'll see you next time.